in the late 60s. Ed was a true visionary. He understood that every great city needs a great business school. I was raised in Oklahoma, moved to Dallas, and thought SMU would be the greatest university in the world, and that's the reason I selected to go to SMU. A lot of faculty members that were wonderful to me, Willis Tate, Frank Malone, who was the director of the band, they were both leaders, and they wanted, as I did, SMU to be the best. Ed organized and brought together a group of his friends who were the business leaders in the city to get behind this idea of, of building a great business school in Dallas. We launched one of the very first one-year MBA programs in the world. We brought women into the MBA program. We brought the first African-American students into the program. All of these things were, were breakthroughs at, this, at that time, particularly in this part of the country. But always there was Ed Cox with the vision and the encouragement to take the chance. He was always there for continuous improvement. That was kind of what drove Ed Cox. He wanted it to be better next year than it was the last year. We launched the BBA Scholars Program. We became one of the five most selective undergraduate business schools in the United States. I grew up in Salt Lake City, so I always knew that I wanted to go to school out of state just to experience something new. Um, and I had it narrowed down between USC and Southern California and here at SMU. The BBA scholarship had a significant impact, I'd say, in choosing SMU ultimately. And within eight or 10 years, we had students from all 50 states, more than 50 different countries, and we became kind of a global treasure for undergraduate business education because we have an outstanding business school and we're sitting in the best job market in the United States of America. And I couldn't have done it without Ed Cox's support. The other part of the Cox Endowment that uh, it was really Ed's passion, it's leadership training. He always said, well, all great business schools have great faculty, they teach analytics, but we've got to make our students different. Leadership skills can separate them from the pack. So we launched the Business Leadership Center for the MBAs. We launched the Business Leadership Institute for the BBAs, and all students have the opportunity to study leadership. They had leaders in various businesses throughout Dallas and come in and kind of explain their job, their business. And it really opened up the doors to exploring like what the actual opportunities are. Their ability to step out of this environment into a business environment on an international basis and on day one began to take leadership. That is a uniqueness of this place. Student quality and uh, the leadership component of our curricula is the real investment and the, the game changer that Ed made in our programs. If you look out into the alumni base now, our students and our graduates are all over the world and they're doing things that are absolutely remarkable on a worldwide basis. The student body gets better every year. They are really going to be leaders. All of them are terrific. Usually just here of the Ivy League, the Harvard Business Schools, Northwestern, but in that mix now is the Cox School of Business. That's the future of Dallas, and the investment that Ed put in the business school was all part of our strategy to invest in Dallas, and this would help us all grow together. Literally thousands and thousands of students throughout the world have been influenced by those decisions that he was helping make and he was providing leadership for. That is monumental for the city of Dallas, for the state of Texas, and for the country. And the best is yet to come.